Well, today my conversation is with Igor Chekovic. He is the principal cello for the Kalamazoo Symphony Orchestra. Thank you so much for talking with me here today. Thank you for having me. I've been doing a lot of reading about you, and it seems like you're totally immersed in music. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, of course, I started when I was very young. So uh, it's when we when we do our education of any type of extra activity, uh, like a hobby, it it's very, gets very serious very quickly back in, back in Eastern Europe. So I would say that I this is what I did that, that I did since I was very, very young and played concerts and and traveling around and playing. And you're the principal cello for the Kalamazoo Symphony Orchestra. What is a principal cello? Well, that's, uh, I mean, it's the first chair of the cello section and it's, um, I'm in a way responsible for, for the cello section. We, before the concerts, I would win consultation with other principals, write down the Boeings and make sure some markings are right. And, and then like at, during the concert and the concert week, I'm just kind of there, uh, you know, just making sure everything works the way it's supposed to work. And, um, and you know, you get to get some solos to play and, and stuff like that. What does a cello bring to an orchestra? Uh, you know, with the, with the cello, it's we, we get in orchestra, we get to play a lot of really beautiful melodies. Um, not all the time, like the first violins maybe, but when, when it is our moment, it's always just gorgeous. And, but we also get to play a lot of bass notes and we are really, but not all of the bass notes because we have double basses. So we really have this perfect, like a middle ground where we get to do a lot of uh, great accompanying, but also beautiful, beautiful melodies. I'm wondering, can you play a little bit on the cello here for me so I can hear you live myself. I mean, I'll just play a scale for you so you can hear the low sounds good. The high sounds. <laughs> so it's just the, the, range love it. Of, the range of the cello is what really, uh, really uh, interests me and what I really enjoy the most. So it's- and You know, in reading about you, I saw that, that you're, you're an artist um, with the Kalamazoo Symphony Orchestra. What is that and how do you, how do you get that? Right, it's, it's an artist in residence. Yes, and, yes. Uh, that's, the, that's the position. There's, uh, I believe, eight of us who do that now, different instruments. And we are principal players of our sections. And we also get to um, play a lot of uh, chamber concerts for the community here. Uh, we're in a smaller groups, more intimate concerts. And we also spend a lot of time visiting um, schools and educating kids about classical music, about what it is to be a musician and about our instruments and a lot of musicians they have to choose if they're going to play in the orchestra or they want to teach or they want to do like a lot of freelance collaborations but i feel like with with this job here and with the symphony is that we get every one week we play a Mahler symphony next week we spend a week in schools uh, working with little kids and then we maybe play a small concert at the local brewery and then play a movie so it's just it always changes and it's very fast uh, paced. And it, I, I really love it. Uh, from the stage, what does that look like to you when you're looking out into the, what's your view like from your perspective? Well, the view is really great because you, uh, we're usually, uh, when we play in a symphony, regardless where we are sitting, we're kind of in the center of the stage. So we can always see the entire Miller Auditorium. It, it, it's great. I mean, you, it's not only what you see, it's, it's the whole energy and the whole vibe and those couple of minutes before the concert starts, uh, that kind of electricity and that, uh, that something happening is something that is something is about to happen is, is always so uh, such a great feeling. And it's, it's, it's really, we really miss that. I, I know I, I can speak for all of us musicians. We really miss having uh, the audience, because that's what we why we do that. And then, can you show me maybe a, a technique that you 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 use when you play the cello? Well, the technique that every um, younger student or you know like a beginners always want to know how to do it is uh, is a vibrato, I would say, uh, and it's the the way that um, how we uh, move our hands to vibrate the the, the note. <laughs> Just the way that that, go, that that works is really like you are, I always try to explain to the students, to the beginners, that it's what you're doing is really like moving your hand left and right slowly and then gradually get to be, to be, uh, to be faster. And th they're always fascinated with that, but there's always like one of these things that takes probably a year or more to, to really feel 
comfortable doing so. So Igor, you know, the cello, it's such a huge instrument. How do kids even learn how to play it? And are there any interesting facts about the cello? Like how old is that cello that you're holding there? Well, uh, this particular cello, it's, it's one of those that doesn't have a label inside. So we had to go to luthiers and to get it a little bit analyzed more. But from what I know, it's made in the late 1800s. Wow. And uh, they, they do get them to be very old too. And there are also some modern instruments that are very good. But to go to your uh, first question is that when you're, when you're a little kid, you don't play the cello that is you know, bigger than you, obviously. There are, there's like, I think even a eighth of a cello, which is eight times smaller and then a quarter and a half size and a three quarter size. Oh. And then you get to this bigger size, just depending on uh, you know, how big you grow, how fast you're growing, right? It's one of those instruments when you when you're a little kid. It's even if you're having a um, a three quarter cello, half a cello, it might be bigger than you. Like on your back when you're walking around the hallway, it just doesn't look. Uh, it looks pretty uh, funny, I would say. Thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. It's been it's been great talking to you. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.